coming in today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the opportunity. So my name is Willow, and this is Blaze. We're the two head motivators here. Head motivator? I thought you two were both managers. We don't like to use that word here. Uh, we prefer motivators because we feel that motivation is the best way to lead a team. But we'll get into the 14 agreements later. Uh, the 14 what? Doesn't matter, we'll get to that later. Uh, so Ashley, that's a relatively common name, but that's okay. What makes you want to work here at Fresh Foods Co-op in the produce section? I just finished my MFA, as you can see on uh, my resume, and I'm looking for a part-time job so that I can work on my next writing project. Oh, you're a writer. What kind of writing do you do? Is it like poetry, collection of short stories, or like a screenplay? Please tell me they're working on a screenplay. No, nothing like that. I'm actually working on a book of nonfiction about birds. Um, the spoon-billed sandpiper, to be precise. It's, it's a rare shorebird, and um, I'm studying its migratory patterns because it's becoming extinct. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, I was really hoping for a screenplay. Yeah, totally. Excuse me? Uh, it's not important. Um, it says here you worked on a farm? Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, during the summers in grad school. Hmm. Was it a CSA? Uh, CSA? Community supported agriculture? Uh, no, just a regular farm. It was an organic farm, right? Oh, no. We use pesticides. I mean, in fact, we used a lot of... Uh, but, you know, I, mean, I believe in organic farming. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's the way to go. Well, uh, we can see that you've had plenty of experience with produce, although it's not organic produce, but that's okay. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Like, what do you do in your spare time? Not much, you know, um, bird watching, reading, that's about it. Uh -huh. That's it? Uh, yeah, that, that's it. You don't have any hobbies, like collecting rare vintage vinyl? That's oddly specific, but no. What about bike polo? Do you play bike polo? No, never, never played bike polo. Not even sure I know what that is. What about photography, like, you know, with a camera from the 1970s where you've got to change out the filters and, and the lenses, and it's actually pretty inconvenient to carry around. No, uh, and look, I'm sorry, I don't understand what any of these questions have to do with... That's, that's fine. Okay, Ashley, um, why don't we just go right ahead and get to the next series of questions, and these are very, very important and may determine whether or not we hire you, okay? So I just want you to answer as honestly as you can and try not to leave anything out. What's your favorite kind of beer? What? Speak your truth. Uh, PBR? Excellent. Um, next question. Do you own a skull cap or skinny jeans and would you be willing to wear either at work? <laughs> sure, I think I have both, but again, I don't know what any of this has to do with my ability to stock produce. Great. Uh, now, do you ever wear glasses or, I mean, they don't have to be prescription. They could just be frames with lenses, maybe some like thick black horn rimmed um, deals. No, I, I don't wear glasses. What about body piercings? Do you have any body piercings? I mean anywhere. No, 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 no body piercings. What about tattoos, maybe something from a, uh, Famous piece of literature, perhaps, or some Chinese symbols? No, no tattoos. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Uh, look, I still don't understand what this has to do with my ability to stock produce. Ashley, when people come into the co-op, you're the first person they see when they walk in. So it's important for us to keep up appearances. Appearances? Yes, appearances. Let me ask you one more question, Ashley. Would you be willing to get a body piercing? No. What about just like a little lip ring? No. Like a nose ring? Like a stud? Like a non-conflict diamond stud? No, the answer's still no. What about tattoos? Absolutely not. No, I'm Jewish, okay? And the Torah forbids tattoos. And body piercings, for that matter. There you go, you're Jewish. That's great. I can we to bring that up earlier. Let's talk about yarmulkes. Do you have any cool yarmulkes? We wear like, like a Jamaican flag-themed yarmulke? Look, it's clear that I am not right for this position, okay? Like, I, I'm not willing to alter my body in any way just so that I can stock avocados and prep heads of lettuce. What about Boston butter? I mean, that's some good lettuce. Damn right. Yep. Thank you for your time today, gentlemen. I, I'll just see my way out. What if we triple your pay? Of course I'll do it if you triple my pay. <laughs> Let's talk lip rings. It's just a little one. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Attach it down there. You should come to my party later. That's going to be 
Potluck, I assume? Oh yeah. I'll bring the bike polo team. Oh, they'll be PBR. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Matt Ferguson. I'm King Mecca, Christopher Green, if you're hiring. Thanks for watching our sketches. As you can see, we love what we do. And as we can see, you do too. If you click on the Patreon link down below, that would be a great way to show your love. But like most relationships, let him explain before you just go jumping in. So Patreon is a crowdfunding website that allows fans to directly support their favorite artists. Here's how it works. You go to our Patreon profile listed below and you can choose one out of four different monthly subscriptions that range from oh, just a dollar a month up to 10. You get access to brand new sketches before anybody else. You get gag reels, behind the scenes video, you get fan voting. It's, it's just so much that comes with it. And this is our way of saying thank you for your hard earned money and continuous support. So remember to subscribe to our YouTube page and like us on Facebook.